welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out the new Artist Couture. This is called the Love Sprung Blush Palette. This recently launched and they came with two different palettes, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I picked up Volume 1. It retails for $34 and you basically receive three blushes, two sound blushes and one lustrous blush. And this is also paraben free, vegan, cruelty free. So basically we're going to test this out today. We're going to see, you know, how does it look on, how does it blend, how pigmented are these blushes. Is this something we should actually, you know, pick up or should we pass. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And as always, let's jump on in and try these on. In case you guys haven't seen the packaging of this palette, here it is. It's a really pretty peachy pink type of palette. I love that it's made out of acrylic. It's different. It stands out. It grabs my attention. I love that the name of this collection is on here in Old English. I'm assuming that's Old English. And it basically it says Love Sprung, All Artist Couture. On the back of the packaging, I also noticed that it also says the name of the palette, Love Sprung, and the volume that you picked up, which I really love they include that little detail in case you forget where you got this or which collection it was, um, you have something to reference back to. As for the inside of the palette, you guys, you get a really good size mirror, which is perfect for travel. And the size of each of the pans is a really good, decent size. Like you're getting a good amount. I feel like this will last you a long time. Your blush brush can fit perfectly and comfortably in each of these pans. And they're all really pretty. I love how they all look so different. So you definitely, from looking at it, it looks like you get a variety of them. For Baby Bloom, this is a baby pink blush that is described on their website as for eternal flame this is more of a peachy champagne and as for swim me this one's more of a peachy pink so what i'm going to go ahead and do you guys for the today's video i'm going to go ahead and apply each of these blushes on alternate sides of my face or on my cheeks and then i'll give you guys side by side comparisons as well of how they look on in case you want to see the differences in the undertones just so you can you know see what you're getting yourself into in case you're interested in picking this up and then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys the full team, what I liked, what I didn't like, if I noticed any patchiness, separation, or just anything out of these blushes. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump on in and try these on. So we have tried on and swatched on all three blushes and now let's go ahead and talk about them But before I do actually there's one piece of information that I forgot to mention to you guys that I want to share with you right now Before we wrap up today's video and it is that these blushes are meant to give us You know to look like a flush of color kind of a flush of color from within and obviously you can build the pigmentation to your personal liking So I did want to share with that with you as for the packaging So now diving into this review I do want to share with you that I like the packaging. I love that it's peachy I love that it's small and compact. I love that the it is magnetized. It shuts nicely uh, together. I love that it is a nice size mirror. I love the sizes of these blush pans. I feel like it's a really good size. I love the little detail of each of the name of the blushes on the bottom of you know this palette. And I love how each of the blushes just looks entirely different from one another. I love that you definitely feel like you're getting a variety of blushes to play around with. And I just love the pigmentation. They blended really nicely. I love that I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that. The one I'm currently have on on the right side is Swoon Me. That is my favorite blush on this palette. And it is a peachy pink. It is so pretty. I honestly didn't think I was going to end up liking this blush just because of how pink it looks. But I ended up really loving it. It is so pretty. Uh, blended really well. As for Eternal flame the center lustrous blush here which is described as a peachy champagne blush to be really honest um it is very lustrous for sure it kind of reminds me of a highlighter and it, to be honest it's not something that i would naturally like i don't see myself using if i ended up using it i would assume i would use it like if i went on vacation and i kind of wanted to get that glow from within and just kind of look like i'm beaming <laughs> but um it is really really pretty i love the finish i love the luminosity this is something that i definitely it's very specific so either you're gonna like it or you're not and i've honestly stayed 
away from highlighter. So this is not something that I can really see myself using as of right now, but if I ever need a girl, I know where to find something like this. And I love the idea that you can definitely layer these on, these blushes on, and kind of combine different colors and get, you know, new little fun shades that you can play with, especially if you want to layer on a little bit of this Eternal Flame over maybe Swoon Me or a Baby Bloom. Um, I did notice that there was a little bit of fallout, you guys. That is the only thing, but I didn't notice, didn't feel like it was... A lot of fallout, something to kind of worry about, but I did notice there was a little bit of kickback when I was dabbing my brush into this palette. But they blended really nicely. I love the finish and I love how they all look so different. $34, I feel like it's a really good deal. And I love that it's vegan and cruelty free. So that is basically it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment down below, ask away, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything will be linked down below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.